Good evening. Are you ready? You could be going to the polls in just two months' time. Federal Finance Minister Jim Flaherty confirmed today that the budget will be tabled on March 22nd. If the opposition parties don't want to play, they could bring down the government. Two of the three parties have already said they are prepared to do just that. As John McIntosh explains now, that leaves the New Democrats with a balance of power. Still nursing a hip fracture. Canada is offering humanitarian aid to the people of Libya. Prime Minister Stephen Harper has announced $5 million for medical aid and shelters. It is not clear, however, how or where the aid will be delivered. Now, one delivery is on its way this evening. HMCS Charlottetown is joining an international flotilla off the North African coast. Bye. There was a lot of emotion off of the Halifax dock. Some of the 242 crew members only found out on Sunday that they could be deployed for up to half a year. The plan is to use the frigate to help rescue any Canadians or any foreigners still stranded in Libya. There is no question that humanitarian aid is desperately needed. The more that Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi digs in, the more people are trying to get out. Border crossings are swamped with tens of thousands of refugees, including many foreign workers frantically trying to get home. They are scared, tired, and in dire need of food. Martin Harrington spent a day at a border crossing between Tunisia and Libya, where a crisis is already unfolding. Inside Libya, forces loyal to Muammar Gaddafi launched a fierce air and ground attack to try and reclaim a strategic eastern town held by the rebels. It appears as though anti-Gaddafi fighters managed to regain control of Brega. It's a town rich in oil. As Maria Rodriguez reports now, their victory came at a price. The checkpoint at the edge of rebel territory. Coming up, those wild west winds. Vancouver Island faces a potential hurricane head on.